I still remember the first time that I scrolled on TikTok. Now, most of my friends had TikTok before I had it, and this was kind of the main reason why I got it in the first place. I got TikTok because all of my friends were in it. They said, oh yeah, TikTok's really fun, you should, you should watch it. So I got TikTok, and I remember opening up the app, and the first video that I was shown, I thought it was quite boring. Like, I really thought it was genuinely super boring. And I remember thinking, this is what this is what people are watching. This isn't the most useless thing ever. I could find more enjoyment by just playing basketball. But I'd say, no, there's no way all these people are saying, yo, TikTok, always on TikTok. And they don't even enjoy it. So I scrolled again. Again, it's boring. I was literally like, dude, this is just so boring. What am I even watching, right? I scroll again and I see a funny video. And now I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. And I click on send, I send this video to my friend. I'm like, wow, that was a pretty funny video. So let me just keep scrolling. And I scroll again, scroll again. I probably see another funny video that day. And that day, I didn't really scroll too much. But the next day, I started scrolling again. I said, you know, well, what if I can find another funny video? That'd be kind of cool, right? And I laugh, and I send that video to my friend. And I keep scrolling. I maybe find another funny video and send it to my friend. And this keeps going. Every single day, I'm scrolling, scrolling more. But what I find is that now that I look back on it, I'm not even laughing. I'm not even laughing, right? Maybe in the first instance, maybe in the first two days, I was laughing. But as the time went on, I wasn't even laughing anymore. I wasn't even having fun. I wasn't even enjoying it. But I just kept scrolling. And I wish I could tell you exactly what my mind was saying, but I can't. And I think my mind was just shut off. It was like, it was like a monkey brain, right? I felt like a monkey. Nothing else would give me happiness. Nothing else, like I remember playing basketball, right? That first day, I thought basketball was way more fun than just scrolling. I thought it was way more fun. As soon as I started scrolling, I didn't enjoy basketball as much anymore. I would shoot a couple shots and then go on my phone and scroll a bit. I would be doing my homework and say, oh, I need to take a break and I would just scroll. I would be in class at that time, it was online. So whenever we had a break, I would just scroll. Always scrolling but I never actually laughed. I never genuinely had enjoyment in my life. And I just turned into this monkey seeking for pleasure, seeking, oh, 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 oh. And it got to the point where I was so disgusted in myself. I was, I hated what, who I was, right? I hated what I was, honestly. It wasn't even who, I felt like a what. That's how bad it got. And I looked at myself, I said, this has to change. This has to change. Because I'm just sitting there scrolling forever and ever and ever. Under the bed sheets after I first wake up. I'm not even getting out of my bed. At night, still scrolling under the bed sheets. Always scrolling. And I said, I have to turn this around. And in that time, I started working out. I started working out. I started focusing on my charisma. I started taking cold showers. I basically got into self-improvement. And this was the first time in a long time where I genuinely found happiness again. A happiness that was not pleasure. This was a different type of happiness. Enjoyment, not pleasure. And it was the most beautiful feeling, honestly, right now, mostly like tearing up because of how beautiful that feeling is. And I know most people, they never get to experience it. Most people, they live their lives pleasure-filled, seeking for pleasure, believing this is happiness. When it's not, when it's really, really not, you're not even laughing. True happiness comes from enjoyment. It comes from finding that direction, finding that purpose, and working hard. True happiness comes from contentment, not seeking more pleasure and more reward, but genuinely being fulfilled in yourself and enjoying every day. That is true happiness. And today I wanna to give you the differences between pleasure and happiness so that you can really start to understand what is the difference. And at first I always thought that happiness and the difference between pleasure and content, that was all discipline, that was all psychological. But the more that I researched into it, the more that I delve into it, I realized that it's also biological, right? There are two types of happiness neurotransmitters, you could call it, right? And I'm not saying these are the only two types, but I'm saying that there are two types like this. And those two neurotransmitters that I'm talking about 
They're called dopamine and serotonin. Now, dopamine, dopamine is released in the body whenever you do something that is good for your survival. It is basically a reward mechanism to make you feel good, right? This is pleasure. This is the essence of pleasure. Whenever you eat, dopamine was supposed to flood your body. Whenever you work out, dopamine floods your body because you're actually exercising. Whenever you're sleeping, dopamine floods your body. It's a biological signal to make you feel good to do the things that will keep you alive. But the thing is, when you get addicted to things like social media, right? The reason why it increases dopamine in your head, the reason why it brings you pleasure is because every time you're searching for something more funny, you're searching for something more interesting, you're always searching. And that was the reason why dopamine was created in the first place. It is to help you find that reward, the reward in always pursuing the pursuit. That is dopamine. That is the reason why dopamine has ever existed. It's to help you actually go and have the motivation to do something. But when you're always scrolling, when you're looking for that next interesting video, the dopamine just keeps getting released, release, release, release. And it gets released to an extent that it's never gotten released to before. And now this is the only way your body can find that dopamine, right? Eating doesn't give you the same amount of dopamine. Sleeping doesn't give you the same amount of dopamine. The thing that I want to do is find pleasure. And I must find pleasure through social media, right? And you can replace social media with video games, with eating junk food, with any bad habit that you have. You're, you are still a biological human. You are not someone that is always thinking. You're not always sentient. You are still biological. You still have that monkey part of your brain inside you. But serotonin, serotonin is different. Serotonin doesn't tell you, go look for more reward. Go look for more things. Serotonin says, no, I'm good right now. This is all I need. And you can find serotonin in your life when you find peace, when you find that happiness in your life, when you, when you don't feel like you're looking for pleasure, but instead enjoy where you are. That's serotonin. You find serotonin there. And the way that I found to finally go for true happiness instead of seeking for pleasure is to cut out all the things that are pleasurable in your life and to genuinely focus on working hard this is going to be the hardest time in your life that you've ever undertaken, but it will be the most beneficial. Stop scrolling, stop playing video games, stop eating junk food, stop doing all the other bad habits that you do, that you, that you know are not right. You don't want to show other people that you're doing it. You don't want to do it in front of everyone else. So why do you do it in front of yourself? Why do you make yourself feel ashamed? Don't. Don't do it anymore. And I'm serious when I say don't. Like, I don't mean only do it for 10 minutes. A lot of people say is, oh, I'm, I'm limiting my time to 20 minutes on TikTok. I'm putting on my screen time. Like, be quiet, bro. Just end it. You're still addicted if you're saying, oh, it's just 20 minutes. Leave it. Okay? Delete the app. And in that time, I want you to start working out. Working out, it's absolutely saved me. It gave me a new thing that I could actually love. It gave me the ability to work hard, but see that my efforts became my results. There were no results that were, oh, that's just because of my genetics. It was genuinely, did I work hard or no? And if I worked hard, I would actually build an attractive physique. And I was very, very proud of that. I think working out will do the same for you. It will get you attraction from other people. People will be more receptive to you. But the greatest thing that it did for me was it built my health and it gave me that confidence. It made me proud of who I was. And it gave me contentment in my life. It gave me true happiness of genuinely loving the process of every day. Working out gave that to me. If you're interested in learning exactly how to work out without wasting too much of your time and doing it in the most authentic, natural way possible with two pieces of equipment, only using your own body weight as resistance, check out the first thing in the description. I basically built this physique with two pieces of equipment never been to a proper gym. The next thing that I would say to replace your bad habits with is to start reading. Start exploring the minds of others because that's what it is. Most people don't think about it in that way, but that's genuinely what it is. You're looking into other people's minds. You're becoming a mind reader. You're seeing other people's perspective and it's, it's a beautiful feeling. Learn from others and take their lessons and improve your life. Also, go into nature. I never did this when I started scrolling. I, I told you, when I was playing basketball, I would just start scrolling. I would go inside. Now, I don't scroll anymore, and I spend as much time as I can outside. And it's, it's a beautiful feeling, and it makes you feel like you genuinely, you're there. 
you're you're in the right spot. And again, I'm tearing up or even thinking about it. But it's just true happiness. It's not pleasure. It's not, oh, I feel good right now. This is what I was meant to do. And to kind of tie this together with the farthest step that you can take, that's to find your purpose, find your direction in your life. In the beginning, I always thought that when people said, do what you love, I thought that was a horrible like thing to say because I always thought that just meant, oh, just scroll, just play video games, just eat junk food. I thought that's exactly what it meant. Do what you love. Follow your instincts. Be that emotional, animalistic creature. I hated that. I was like, why would people ever say this? What's wrong with you? But now I understand that there is a difference. There is a difference between pleasure and happiness. There is an absolute difference. And when people say, do what you love, they mean do what you love that gives you happiness not pleasure. And when you find the thing that gives you true happiness, not pleasure, it's like nothing else. I've only had hints of it. I don't know my full purpose. I don't know what I'm here to do. But I know that for now, it's to help give other people confidence. It's to motivate and inspire the people who are like younger me. And once you experience it, you know, this is the right path. Like this is genuine happiness. It is not searching for anything that lights me up animalistically. It's not searching for video games. I'm where I'm supposed to be. This is the direction that I'm going. And it doesn't matter whatever directions are crossing my path. It doesn't matter how everyone else is going. This is my direction. This is where I'm meant to go. Again, if you're looking to work out and to start that journey of finding that bliss and genuinely putting your efforts in and not searching for pleasure. If you're interested in doing that at home with two pieces of equipment, check out the first link in the description and I'll help you there. With that, I hope that you got something from this video and I hope that you go out and conquer.